I'm wearing a beer shirt. I have to have a beer in my hand, even though it's not a San Diego beer. But that doesn't matter. What matters is we're thinking about you. You've likely got a house full of people or maybe going someplace and there needs to be breakfast after all that present opening and nonsense and carrying on and having fun that happens. Not that I would know because I'm Jewish, but I've heard about it. I've definitely seen it in movies. We're trying to give you something easy that you can make. I'm almost 100% certain there's eggs in your domicile and some form of vegetable. You only need one thing to really pull this off and it's sweet potato fries because you're making a sweet potato hash with eggs and vegetables and the whole thing is fantastic. But the shortcut, the cheat in this from an episode a year or so ago is frozen sweet potato fries, throw them in the oven, take them out, cut them up, Bob's your uncle, the whole thing's done, you'd be so happy. So happy. Or you could make something of your own that probably everybody's tired of and they've had a thousand times. But you decide. I'm only kidding. Merry Christmas if you celebrate it. If you don't, here's a great breakfast thing. I do most of the cooking. Kelly, who is an amazing cook, just doesn't have an opportunity to cook that much anymore because I like to do it. But when it comes to breakfast, even when she did all the cooking, not her jam. <laughs> She doesn't really like eggs. If you don't love something, how can you cook it properly? Yeah. I love a good poached egg. I love a good hash. The whole thing makes You're sense to me. Huge on eggs. Huge on eggs. Huge, mommy. Huge. It's an inside joke. All right. So I will heat my wok. And once again, I know I've said this before, a wok is just not for Asian things. It's just a big, deep vessel that cooks things amazingly. So here's what's going into this. I've got some uh, red pepper we're going to throw in. I've got some uh, red onion we're gonna throw in. I've got a little a yellow onion that's gonna go in. I've got some green onion that's gonna go in. I've got some parsley. And sweet potato hash in this form is gonna be, look, sweet yeah. potato fries that you just buy and you keep in the freezer. It's genius. You know, start with a whole sweet potato and the baking of the first. Stop that nonsense. Okay, so through the magic of whatever, Max will show you me cutting up all these things and throwing them into the wok to start softening. Dig? Dig. Dig. So we got red peppers here. And I, look, I like to cut these things fairly small. I mean, you, look, do what you want. You like giant bites of this stuff? Then make giant bites of it. But for me, I like it, uh, I think it's easier to eat this stuff if it's in a smaller form. So a bunch of red pepper. Look, we've done it before. Just for reference sake, watch my fingers when I cut. They're not like this, right? I'm not going to cut off the ends. They're back. I rest the knife against my knuckles here. And then I move my knuckles back, and my fingers are nowhere near what the action is. And I'm sure you never cut yourself, right? I never cut myself. OK, <laughs> yes, I cut myself a ton, but, All the time. but, not, but not that much anymore <laughs> because, I'm because I'm careful. Stitches, chunks of skin right. cut off. All right, do you mind? <laughs> yes. I don't know how many times I've gone to emergency and had to be <laughs> stitched up. Just a reminder, when you're cooking things, multiple things in a pan, the things that go into the pan first are the things that take the longest, longest to cook. Thank you. Beautiful. Now some red onion. I'm using three onions, or as we say in California, three onions. If you only had one, if you only had red, if you only had yellow, if you only had white, then just, then just use it. You don't have to do this. I just like the variety of all these things, and I'm an onion fan, especially when they're cooked. So the green onion will, uh, or the white will not go in yet. We'll give this a little bit of oil. That will start to do its thing. Look, I've just got a little bit of random white here. Let's just do this. The beautiful thing about a hash, or a pizza, or a frittata, or a taco, it can be a fridge clearing event. Use up what you've got. You've got mushrooms you want to throw in, do that. You've got some leftover zucchini you want to throw in, do that. Just get it all in. Don't be shy. And now this needs to soften a little bit. Mm. The smell's here, right, Max? Oh, yeah. And there's nothing yet but these vegetables, the peppers, the onions, avocado oil. I haven't even seasoned it yet. I'm going to get there. This is my pot of water that I've already heated a little bit for my poached egg. Could you do a fried egg on a hash? 
Yes. Of course you could. Could you do a scrambled egg on hash? Yes. No, that would be fucked up. <laughs> you could not do scrambled egg. The point of a hash, at least for me, is you cut the egg open. It's that runny yolk scrambled egg. Are you nuts? You fell right into that. <laughs> Beautifully. Okay, I want you to pay attention to something here. Do you see the color? Like this? Like this? Right? Like this? Like the peppers getting color on them, the onions getting color? Mm -hmm. That's flavor. You want to get... Sorry for all the noise. You want to get to that point because that's really what brings out the delicious flavors of these things. A boil an onion, it's, it's okay. No, it's not really. I wouldn't mm -hmm. like that. Put an onion in a pan and saute it until it gets color on it. That's what it's all about. All right, now we're going to add the sweet potatoes. Or, as my father would say, sweet potatoes. So here they are. I don't want to burn anything here. So look, it's okay, I burnt one. Oh, shoot. I mean, I didn't mean to completely diss sweet potatoes in the whole form. Yes, of course you could use those if that's what you had. But I'm saying keep in a bag of frozen ones. That's the way to go. But now, now we want to do this. A big giant chop on these things. They don't have to be quite as small. They're really the predominant part of this dish. I'm telling you, potato hash is great. Sweet potato hash is ridiculous. It's so much better because of the sweet potatoes. So you don't need to make the pieces too small, but you do want to give a, an excellent rough chop like this, right? Beautiful. All this nonsense is now going to come in here. That's hot. We'll give it just one more little splash oil. And because I can at this point, just a little butter. Mmm. Great, right? Two more things we're gonna add. One are green onions, of course, and one is parsley, curly parsley, chopped, beautiful. We need some color. But I like the idea that the green onions are gonna go in and stay a little bit raw. We're not gonna cook them down like we did the other ones. So this is amazing. And now we're gonna make our poached egg. I promised the poached egg. So here's my thing. I've done this before. I'm gonna show it to you again. I think it's important. We crack the egg into a little bowl. Try not to break the yolk. If you break the yolk, start again, or make a scrambled egg. You can't make a poached egg with a broken yolk. Should be obvious. Now come close, Max. I'm gonna try and pour off the super liquidy part that makes a messy poached egg. So watch when it gets to the edge. See the dribble and then it comes back to thick, right? I turn it a little bit. No, oh, only a tiny bit. Sometimes there's some, there's, watch. See that mm. little bit? If I go too far, it starts coming out thick, but I can always bring it back. Mm -hmm. And then, yep, yeah, you see that? That was that side, right? I like to get rid of that. I don't think it's useful. Okay, now we go to the pot, just lightly simmering water. I've added vinegar to this. We've done this before, but just as a reminder, I've added vinegar to this. And now I'm just gonna take a spoon. I'm gonna just stir like this. Make a little vortex, vortex. thank mm -hmm. you. And then right in the center, I bring my cup down low and I go, boom. And hopefully the swirling water will help this come together and become a lovely little poached egg. We'll give it a second and then we'll try and help release it from the bottom so it doesn't stick. There we go, that guy's nice. And in about two and a half to three minutes, that is gonna become perfection. We haven't seasoned this. The egg's almost ready. See it in there looking beautiful, right? And it's mostly looking beautiful because I poured that liquidy stuff off. So now what we need is we need to season well. Now we mix. That's ready. That can come off. Let's check our egg. And here's what we're looking for. So A, it's beautiful. You can see the yolk and you see the white. The white still you can tell is just a little bit runny. I mean, it's hard to give you an exact time. I'm going to say two and a half to three and a half minutes, but it depends on how hot your water is. I don't like to cook it with boiling water, uh, just barely simmering. I've turned it down, so you have to check. You can always put it back in. If you pull it out and check and you push on where the white is, if it's wobbly, like jello-y fat, 
that needs to go back in for a little bit. But what you don't want to do is overcook it till it's hard. That kind of sucks and you don't want that. 25 more seconds and then we're there. So let me put some of this on a plate. There, make a little landing spot for it. And here's what I do, I take a towel, I give it just a quick little dry because I don't want a wet egg on here. That goes like that. Look, and see how nice it is without a lot of stringy stuff? That's because I got rid of that, that liquidy part. I'm going to do two things to it. One is some good olive oils. It just adds this richness, a little bit more of that. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And here we go. And here's the, the moment of ecstasy. So that sounded wrong. I didn't mean that, but look. Okay, yeah, that's perfect, right? That is perfect. That's a perfect egg. God, I love a poached egg. And now the bite. You get some of everything. And... Oh my God. So good. So good. Okay. Look, don't make the same thing all the time. We always say that. Eat, eat fun food. Eat better food. And keep sweet potato fries in the freezer. It is such a payoff.